I'm so glad to see you. He's the smartest man on earth. Hey! Come on! You've got a question, ask Dr. Ray. You've got questions, I got answers. <sighs> Hello out there, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Al. I'm Dr. Al, and I'm Dr. Al. And as you can see, we've got a little problem. See, I was in the lab trying to split an atom before lunch, and guess what? Hit the wrong button, split myself. These things happen. It's not an exact science. Actually, it is. Now I'm completely torn up, and I'm beside myself. Oh, well. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Get answers from two hours instead of just one. Let's open up the old mailbag. Al, Booby, I love you, but don't step on my lines. You're the clone here. I'm the real Dr. Al. I'm the real Dr. Al. No, you're not. It's me. No, me. <clears throat> well, if you're the real Dr. Al, then how come I have today's letter right in my hot little hand, huh? Which, by the way, we have to get on with the show. So let's stop all this stretching. All right. So tell me the question, and I'll give the answer. You don't give the answer. I give the answer. I'm Dr. Al. So who's Dr. Al now? Okay, today's letter comes from Mike Morgel of Oklahoma City. Mike writes, Dear Dr. Al, why did the dinosaurs become extinct? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a dumb question. What are you talking about? That's a question that has baffled scientists for centuries. They were all numbnuts. I know the real answer, and it's very simple. Well, it's not your turn. I asked the question. I give the answers. Well, you're going to get it wrong. So you can get the next one wrong, schmuck. That's Dr. Schmuck to you. Mike, the dinosaurs disappeared from Earth about 65 million years ago because of an asteroid. You bet your asteroid. Which hits somewhere around the Yucatan Peninsula. That's Yucatan. a nice word, isn't it? Yucatan. Yuc anyway, Yucatan, I'm and this not cotton. And this caused all kinds of disruptions in the atmosphere. Yeah, you're disrupting my atmosphere. Like a terrible heat wave, or maybe a terrible cold wave. We're not sure. But either way, there was all kinds of tourists. You want tourists? And the big guys, they stopped eating. Lost a lot of weight. Yeah, you could stand to lose a couple of pounds. And just sort of slept around until they fell into a tar pit. I'll push you in a tar pit, you old quack. Which turned into the wonderful fossil fuel that we have today to power our gas-guzzling cars. Wrong! The dinosaurs disappeared because they were killed by cavemen. Everybody knows that. That's ridiculous. That's the answer. There were no cavemen around when there were dinosaurs. How do you know that? Were you there? You weren't there. Listen, you idiot. Humans have only been on the Earth for around 200,000 years. Wrong again, Schmedrick. Didn't you ever see that movie, One Million Years B.C., with Raquel Welch running around in a loincloth with all those Velaptichoris snapping at her glorious tuchus? That was Taro. It was Raquel Welch. I have a picture on my bedroom wall. It's my bedroom wall, and that was a picture of Farrah Fawcett. And besides, they didn't even have Velociraptors until Jurassic Park. Boys, boys, what's all the excitement here? You know, this is not how family behaves. Where did you come from? You left the accelerator on, putz. Look, can't we all get along in the interest of science? We're all mishpuchy here. He's right. We've been a jerk. I love you, Al. Uh, I love you too, Al. <laughs> well, look, let's wrap this thing up. We, we hope, hope this answers, answers your, your question. question. You can write to me here at AskDrL at gmail.com. And remember... Whatever, Whatever your problem, your problem it's, it's all, all relative. relative. Whatever happened to Charo? She was a hot tamale. Oh, I'll say coochie coochie. Yeah, she was some. Oof. Oi. My head hurts. It's so funny. He's the smartest man on earth. I'm him. He's your pal. You're talking to me. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Ray. You'll know it, baby. Ouch. Oof. Ouch.